Okay, top tech is on display in Barcelona this week as the Spanish city hosts the annual Mobile World Congress. It's where the world's biggest wireless companies show off their very latest designs. And this year, they have foldable smartphones and AI-powered chatbots that nearly have minds of their own. It's also the first year the event is back to full strength since the COVID-19 pandemic. And our very own Charlie Angela is there for us live in Barcelona. Charlie, so what's everyone excited about this year? Well, first, I've got to apologize for being outside instead of inside, but the sheer number of devices that are connected inside means that we couldn't get connectivity in there. But inside, it's all about the future. And over the next four days, some 80,000 people from over 200 different countries are going to be looking at the products and the technology that are going to shape that future. And you're right in saying that this event started as one showcasing mobile phones, but now that mobile phone design and development has pretty much plateaued, it's those wireless technologies that are taking over. So we'll see the launch of a few foldable phones from some Chinese companies, but really the buzz is around the tech that you can't hold. The metaverse, which is essentially the internet in 3D, and generative AI, like ChatGBT, which is creating very human-like content and has uh, certain industries like advertising, uh, copywriting, and some journalists slightly quaking in their boots. Yeah, tell us, tell us a little more about the metaverse to people not so familiar about it. What is the future looking like? Well, it seems after a very rocky 2022 in which uh, the company Meta said it was reducing its investment in the technology, it's really now becoming more of a reality. And we're hearing that 88% of global companies have invested in some way or another in this kind of virtual technology. So here we're seeing lots of companies showcasing their latest online avatars, ways for to, to transform shopping, gaming, socializing, work by creating virtual conference rooms, but also even in things like travel, where you can mimic a hotel in the virtual world, experience it and work out if that's somewhere you actually want to stay. But I think what's really interesting here are the companies that are demonstrating the developments in what's called the industrial metaverse. And that's something that we won't see as consumers but it is happening. And that is where real machines, factories, buildings, cities, even transportation grids and electricity hubs are being created also in the virtual world, creating essentially a digital twin. Now, the idea is that in a digital environment, uh, the programmers can identify any problems, any issues that can arise. They can increase production. And, and that is what's going to be transforming our lives but behind the scenes. Really interesting to talk to you. Charlie Angela there for us at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona.